the best chow mein noodles. And when I say the best, I really mean it. There's some serious noodle technique going on here, my friends. This is my classic chicken chow mein. So there are a lot of really bad chow mein recipes out there. To me, chow mein is a very specific style of noodle dish. It's got a noodle that's sort of dry, but yet a little saucy. It's a really good noodle, but you've got to know how to do it. Um, so this is the kind of recipe that I have collected here in my brand new cookbook. Uh, so I'm going to be making the chicken chow mein from this book. And the whole point of this book is really to bring to life these kinds of techniques and recipes that you just don't see anywhere else. So my chow mein recipe has a very specific technique for getting just the right texture. It's all laid out here, step by step, in my cookbook. And these are the kinds of secret, you know, tips and tricks that you will find uh, throughout this book. So I love this book because it is full of all of those really great techniques and recipes that you guys love, that I love. So here we are, just as delicious. If you have the first one, you need this companion second book. So here you go. Let's make some noodles, everyone. Okay. So for the noodles, we are starting out with some fresh Chinese egg noodles. The first tip is you want to be able to separate them all out because they can get a little clumpy in the packet. So separate them out and then into your boiling water. Again, pop them in there and make sure they're separating as you pop them in. And then literally 20 seconds, like pop them in and then cook them, count to 20 if you need to, and then pull them straight out. Now the thing with chow mein noodles is that we're gonna cook them actually three times. So this is your first cook. And the idea here is that we blanch them so that they're tender, just, just barely tender, and then spread them out here on a tray. This allows them to cool down a little better. And then I really wanna dry these out. So I'm gonna pop them into the fridge at least 30 minutes. So here we are with our noodles that have cooled down and they might be a little sticky to start with, but that's okay. They're gonna loosen up when we cook them in the pan. But just to make things a bit easier, I'm gonna group them into four little bunches. And this just means that when I'm cooking them in the pan, because they're in smaller bunches, they all get some heat, you know? They get some love from the wok. So I'm gonna turn this on, add just a little bit of oil here, and then go in with one of your bundles of noodles. And now this is all about just tossing those noodles around, loosening them up so they start to get a little dry and crispy. If you've ever had proper chow mein noodles, like in a really good Chinese restaurant, you would know the kind of texture that I'm looking for here in the finished dish. It's kind of like it's firm, but it's saucy. Not crispy, but it's like chewy, but firm, but saucy all at the same time. <laughs> it's a triumph of textures. So once your noodles have all kind of like separated out and they might just be starting to get like a little tinge of golden color on them, you can pop them out onto a tray or a plate, and then just keep going. So we have our noodles ready to stir fry. Now let's get the other bits and pieces going. So just got some chicken thigh here. And for the marinade, I need some soy sauce, Chinese shaoxing wine, and bicarb soda, which is another little tip here that'll tenderize your meat and some white pepper. Give that a mix. Now for the stir fry sauce, another very simple mix here. Some soy sauce, oyster sauce, dark soy sauce, and some chaussing wine, a little dash of sugar. And then final preparations here. I've got some spring onion and here's a little, uh, I guess it's not really a tip, but it's kind of like a technique for using your spring onion or your green onions, as you might call them. But the pale white part has very much more of a stronger onion flavor. So I like to stir fry it often at the beginning of my stir fry, sort of like I would an onion. So I'm gonna finally slice that part. And then the green part, which has a milder flavor, I'm gonna use that to kind of toss through at the end for some extra color. So I just wanna cut those into battens. A very simple thing to do, but really making use of the flavors in your spring onion stem. Now, let's cook some stuff. 
It's always the preparation for the stir fry that takes the longest time. This part is much quicker. <laughs> When your pan is really nice and hot, add in a little bit of oil and you've got your pale part of the spring onion, some ginger, and now the chicken. Just keep stir frying there until that chicken is just cooked. Chicken's looking good. It's smelling really yum as well. Now I'm gonna go in with some carrot, some cabbage, Now for your beautifully prepared noodles. Stir fry sauce. Now throw in those spring onion greens. And we're nearly there. Turn the heat off and a final hit of flavor here. Just a dash of sesame oil. And now just look at how beautiful those noodles are in there. I mean, they're shiny and just cooked through, but they're not clumped together or sticky or anything like that. Just a really kind of perfect chow mein texture. All right, let's get these out. Now, you know I'm not satisfied unless there's some chili spice going on. So here's an optional extra. Just a little drizzle of chili oil. And there you go, my friends, chow mein noodles done right. Just really good noodles. I really am passionate about this noodle business. It's gotta be good, noodles are special, you know? Okay. Mm. That was a big mouthful of noodles. Um, <laughs> the thing is that texture it's just so perfect. It's chewy, it's tender. Um, you actually have to try it to believe how much of a difference that technique makes. So guys, don't forget this recipe is in my brand new cookbook, just as delicious. Uh, I have a really special deal on my website if you wanted to head there and check it out. Uh, and I hope you love it just as much as I do. Hey friends, I hope you enjoyed that video. And if you did, then why not subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell button so that you always know when I'm making something delicious like noodles or dumplings or noodle soups or more noodles or more dumplings, you should definitely subscribe. I would appreciate it. Thank you.